take a chance, 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 take a chance. Oh, I've got something in my eye. Oh, look at that. That's gross. You should wear a patch. <laughs> oh, God, this chair is so uncomfortable. It's driving me nuts. I gotta trim my nails. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Books Yada Yada. I'm Dina, and thank you so much for watching my channel today. <laughs> that was very aggressive. Um, so today what I'm going to be doing is three reviews, and I covered these books in my September TBR TBL. But first and foremost, what I wanted to do was wish my smart, talented, beautiful daughter, Hannah, a happy birthday. Today is her birthday. She's 26 and I feel so old. No, I, I, I don't. I'm actually okay. <laughs> happy birthday, Hannah. She's on a trip for her birthday. So um, I know at some point she'll watch this and I've already wished her happy birthday. And I did see her yesterday. So um, she's 26. Oh, my little baby. Happy birthday, pumpkin butt. I love you so much. Okay. Oh, she's going to kill me. <laughs> oh, the first book that we're going to be talking about is Sticky Fingers. Okay, so this is a, I have something in my eye, guys, and I don't know what's going on. You could probably see that this eye is a little red. It's, it's a little irritated. It's a little irritated. It's a little, ugh. And I feel like I should be wearing a patch through the entire video because it's going to keep tearing and I can feel it. I don't know what I did. If I, I've tried a new mascara and maybe it's affecting my eye or I scratched my eyeball or something, but oh God, it's just, it feels really weird. And so if I'm like blinking a lot through this, I apologize, but that's why. Sticky Fingers, volume five by J.T. Lawrence. Oh my God, this was awesome. This was 12 short stories and all of them, I can tell you, all of them were excellent okay so um if you're looking for some thriller psychological thriller horror type suspense fiction for this month and getting into you know october do it and there's you know more than five volumes of this by jt lawrence so i'm definitely going to go back to the first four and read those because this volume five was fantastic and the only reason I did volume five was because the audiobook was on Hoopla and that was the only one out of the collection that was on there so I just wanted to try it and not you know waste an audible credit <laughs> so I went ahead and did that on Hoopla so um, my favorite stories out of this book were an eye for an eye yeah that's appropriate because I'm having issues with my eye today. So basically in an eye for an eye, all I can say about this one is guys, don't be a schmuck to your girlfriend. Just don't because you never know when you might wake up in the hospital. You know what I mean? And that goes for girls too. Don't be a schmuck to your boyfriend because you never know when you're going to wake up in the hospital. <laughs> Number two was sisters. Oh my God. I've got just a few words on this one. Don't trust the nanny if you have one, right? Never trust the nanny. Uh, many examples, we've got Uma Thurman, e Ethan Hawke, don't trust the nanny. Jude Law, Sienna Miller, don't trust the nanny. God, who else? Oh God, Gavin Rosdale and Gwen Stefani, don't trust the nanny. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner, don't trust the nanny. This doesn't really have to do with that so much. <laughs> But still, just don't trust your nanny or your au pair or whatever if you have one, right? Um, in the hands of God, this one was awesome. It was uh, it had all kinds of different themes going on in different different subjects. Uh, we've got sister wives and polygamy. We've got creepy, weird kids, um, creepy cult, a touch of Munchausen by proxy syndrome. A little bit of that in a weird way kind of going there. Um, it had it all. I loved that story. It was probably towards the end of the book, I think, but it was crazy and it was just so good. So 
I highly recommend that one. Um, but my favorite story out of this collection was called Little Sparrow. And the reason being is because I love sassy old people, right? I'm a sassy old person. So I loved this story because the, the main character is an 86-year-old, really sassy British woman. <laughs> and her son is, you know, feeling really bad about having to bring her to an old folks home because they think the, the son and, and, and the, the daughter-in-law feel like she is, is really in the throes of dementia and they just can't, you know, take care of her anymore. So, oh, the eye, the eye from hell. Um, so they bring her to this home, but really her dementia is not exactly how it seems to them. So that's all I'm going to say about that is that there's really more of a paranormal thing going on with this sassy uh, 86 year old woman who I just fell in love with. So that was a really great story. Again, that was my favorite one in the collection. So Sticky Fingers Volume 5 by JT Lawrence. Two thumbs up. Here, I'm dorking out. All right. So the next book was One More Thing by BJ Novak. So Again, B.J. Novak played Ryan in The Office. He wrote, has written other books, but he did write this collection of short stories, which I really wanted to read because I read a lot of good stuff about it. And, you know, I'm a huge fan of The Office, so I figured because he was a writer on that show, and that show, you know, is just so funny, um, it is my favorite American sitcom or mockumentary. Not really a sitcom. Um, I wanted to read a book by him that, you know, just kind of goes into a little deeper into his writing style. Um, and I'm so glad I did because this book was great. The, and you know what's cool about it is I added it onto my TBR and it, I, going in thinking that it wasn't going to be like a horror, you know, thriller, psychological uh, thriller type book, but there were a lot of stories in there that had a science fiction kind of theme to it that had definitely had some psychological um, suspense, but in a really darkly comedic way, okay, like only B.J. Novak could do, right? So that was really cool. So my favorite stories from, that, from this book were the rematch, okay, and the rematch was hilarious because... <laughs> <laughs> because basically what's going on here is this is a tale of a retelling of the tortoise and the hare. And the hare is having some sort of existential crisis, okay? So he decides to do a rematch with the tortoise because he just could not accept the failure. So this was a <laughs> retelling of that, and it was just, it was hilarious. It was funny. It was great. It was very B.J. Novak. Um, the second one was Julie and the Warlord. Now, this one was great. It was narrated by Jenna Fisher, who played Pam in The Office, and Rain Wilson, who was a.k.a. Dwight Schrute on The Office. So this one was really good, and it was about this woman, Julie, who goes on a date with a warlord, but she has no clue that he's really an actual warlord. <laughs> and the dialogue between the two of them during this date is just so funny and great and listening to it on audio definitely a must because you know you, you get those it's almost like an office reunion of sorts you know so that was fantastic Sophia that was really really good that was um, again it had a kind of a, a science fiction theme to it it's about an AI sex bot yeah, I know, but it doesn't go there, you know what I mean? This is more of a story of what goes wrong when, <laughs> when you have a sex spot, what could go wrong with that kind of relationship? So this goes into a lot of really deep themes in the complexities of AI, right, and artificial intelligence, and also humanity. Um, so I really, I really loved that one. It was great. The Ghost of Mark Twain. That one was like really creepy and spooky, especially as you get to the end of it. It's just, you know, it kind of, ooh, gave me goosebumps. Ooh, chill. Um, Johnny Depp, Fate in the Double Decker Hollywood Tour Bus. That one was really good. That was a super short one. All of these stories in his, this collection are pretty short, um, but that one was really, really good. 
um, Chris Hansen at the Justin Bieber concert. Now, for those of you who don't know Chris Hansen, he's the guy. He's the guy that did the, or I don't know if it's still on the Dateline, like the To Catch a Predator type show, right, where he would, you know, uh, basically catch pedophiles. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to go on and on and about it. But that's Chris Hansen, is that guy, is that journalist from that show, right? So this was so funny because, like, what was, so this, <laughs> this story was so funny because what would happen if Chris Hansen, right, and I don't know anything about Chris Hansen, but B.J. Novak writes this, B.J. Novak writes this story where Chris Hansen is in a situation where his young daughter wants to go to a Justin Bieber concert and wants him to go with her. So what would Chris Hansen do if he was at a Justin Bieber concert surrounded by like, you know, like nine through 15 year old girls? <laughs> the thought of it, great idea. It was hilarious. And, you know, it was just this inner conflict and struggle that poor Chris Hansen has to, in a fictional way, has to go through. So that one was really good. Um, Closure was a really good one. That one was Mindy Kaling, who was Kelly Kapoor in The Office. And B.J. Novak as Ryan um, going back and forth with this whole situation where she needs closure in the relationship. But closure isn't exactly what you would think it is. That one was really cool. Um, the Comedy Central roast of Nelson Mandela. <laughs> I'm not sure when this book was written. I feel like it was like four or five years ago. But, um, that one was really funny. It was, I mean, come on, you know, the, the um, something by John Grisham was really, really funny because you have John Grisham, again, fictionalized in this situation where um, he's just struggling with, um, with his editor and there's just all kinds of confrontational stuff that happens personally to John Grisham and it just cracked me up. So I had a ton of laugh out loud moments with this book. And B.J. Novak, I got to say, what a mind. He just has a brilliant mind. He must be like a part of the Mensa Society. I don't, I don't know. He probably wouldn't be a part of the Mensa Society. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But he definitely could be because he is just highly intelligent. And what I love about his writing is that he has this high in intelligence, yet he doesn't throw it in your face, right? It's just he writes with sarcasm and wittiness and this uh, again, this very dark humor that uh, doesn't make you feel stupid. Okay, so the next one was, oh, I hate giving negative reviews, so I'm going to preface this by saying that, but it was, I Know You Know Who I Am by Peter Kispert. I really wanted to love this book because I, I heard such great things about it. It didn't get the greatest reviews on Goodreads, but again, I don't really pay attention to Goodreads that much. So I tend to read the books that don't have, have the great reviews, but this one just, mm -mm. you have a collection of short stories. I can't remember exactly how many stories there were in the book, but the book itself is about 240 pages long. What I can say that's, that's positive about this book is that the very first story in the book was excellent. It was very strong. Peter Kisper is a really good writer. But after the first story, the characters and the settings changed. But the story didn't change. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, reading like short, short story collections, you just kind of go like, Oh, well, I'm going to get something different. You know, it's kind of a la carte, right? Like when you go, you know, and you, you go to the restaurant or a la carte, or whatever. Does that even exist anymore? I don't know. I Anyway, I don't know. I'm usually, I, I never know what I'm talking about when I do these things. But, you know, you just kind of like pick and you don't have to read them in order and stuff. Well, this one kind of was, you know, you don't have to read them in order. However, it just felt very repetitive. So, again, characters, settings, places, everything changed. But... It was like the same story over and over and over again, and it just was so boring. I felt like this book or this short story collection really could have been a full-length novel if he would have just stuck with the first story and then sort of expounded with those characters, maybe intermeshed the other characters from the other stories, because that's how it felt to me. I didn't really care for it. Oh, this eye. <laughs> 
driving me crazy. So I'm not going to go on and on and on about this book just because I, I really didn't care for it at all. And um, it's unfortunate because I really wanted to like it. Um, it's basically, you know, I had mentioned it in my September TBR that it's about a book that, where people are telling lies. And so it's a, it was a great concept. But again, it just fell flat after that first story because same old song, same old dance kind of thing. And I don't like that. <coughs> so that's all I'm going to really say about this one is uh, it just fell flat, you know, and that's the thing about books, right? You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. It's a gamble. You never know what you're going to get. And I'm not going to make a Forrest Gump reference at all. But you know what I am going to make a reference to is The Gambler by Kenny Rogers, because you got to know when to hold them. You got to know when to fold them. You got to know when to walk away. And you got to know when to run. Kenny Rogers. So I've got some other stuff I wanted to talk about, too, is that I found somebody, oh, and I can't remember what her name was, but um, this morning I was going through BookTube and somebody did a music tag. So um, it's not like a musicals or anything like that tag. And I've been looking for one because I'm a music freak. So I really have been looking for a tag to do that has to do with music. And I did a video a while ago, a little, little while ago, called Harmony in My Head. How I always wake up with a harmony in my head. I always wake up with a song in my head. Um, so I was looking for a tag that kind of related to that. That's the next video I'm going to do is a music tag video. I will find it and link it down below so you guys can maybe do it too. Um, I don't like to tag people because that's kind of like putting pressure on you all. But if you don't mind me tagging you in something, let me know. Comment below because I will. <laughs> I will tag you. So that's about it, you guys. That's about all I've got for today. And I appreciate you watching my channel. Please like and subscribe. I know I hate having to say that all the time, but the only way, you know, you can get the subscribers is if you ask. If you don't ask, you will not receive. <laughs> right? I know I didn't get that right. Not, a, not at all. But I feel like there's something I left out. I will be posting probably towards the end of the week. I still haven't figured out my scheduling yet. I know a lot of you um, do, you know, videos on certain days. I haven't done that yet because, oh God, because I, you know, I, I started two YouTube channels at the same time, you guys, because I like to make everything in my life harder. <laughs> and that's true. It's a true fact. And so I started a fitness channel and this booktube channel. So but doing two YouTube channels is, is, is a lot of work. It's, it's almost like having a full-time job. <laughs> you know, so I really, I find that when I do the, the BookTube videos, I spend a lot more time on the editing because I talk way too much and I have to delete and edit so much out. Yeah, so I'm, I'm working on the scheduling portion of it. I will be posting another video towards the end of the week. And um, so now you know. All right. So you guys have a great day. Again, my wonderful daughter, I know she won't be watching this now, but when she does, happy birthday, Hannah. I love you. All right. Take care, you guys. See you next time. My wonky eye. <laughs> I'm like Lucille <laughs> from Arrested Development. She just can't wink to save her life.